Good morning, YouTube. Fujiwara is back. This is going to be the Valentine's rant. It's a day early, but I'm getting it out the way. Basically, we're going to talk about why come girls prefer to date assholes. Same thing, why come guys prefer to date assholes. I'm going to talk just a teeny bit about the friendship zone as well. So basically, I kind of come to the conclusion that a lot of uh, a lot of these guys, a lot of these girls would date the asshole guys simply because it's just a lot easier. Simply because they know what they're getting into. If it's one of these asshole guys, they already know they're going to get played. So they don't invest too much into it with their heart. On the other hand, you know, the little guys that are stuck in the friendship zone, those are the guys that they really trust. These are the guys that have their pin numbers. These are the guys they tell all their secrets to. These are the guys know where the kids go to school, the emergency contacts, the guys who are invited to all the family events. These are the guys that they've known 15, 20 years. And these are the guys they fear most when it comes to getting their hearts broken. And problem is, those guys that are stuck in the friendship zone are the main ones who never would break any of their hearts. Period. And it's just, you know, fear. We let fear hold us back. Fear holds us back from getting the good jobs or pursuing the good jobs. And fear holds us back in our relationships as well. And it's the same thing on the men's side. You know, men would rather go out there and wife a hoe versus wifing a good girl. Because they know if they invest, you know, if they go out and they date a hoe, they know they're getting a hoe. So if they find out the hoe is cheating on them, well, they already knew. Just a little bit of hope that, you know, maybe she was going to be a good girl. But, you know, that, that feeling's not going to be hurt that bad because, they, like I said, they already knew what they was getting into. On the other hand, a so-called good girl that gets deep under their skin, somebody that they trust, a girl like that, uh... And then that girl turns around and breaks their heart. Then that hurts probably more than anything that they want to ever deal with. And uh, so, so it's just easier to date the asshole guy or the asshole girl, the player or the the hoe. It's just much easier to do. That's that's why they. And a lot of times, because of the fear, you know, people don't have the long-lasting relationships anymore. Just got to, you know, get your balls and your bearings together and go for it. I know it's tough because we all been through some things and we all will go through some things. Nobody's perfect. But you got good people that will drink your bath water, that will do anything for you right under your nose, and you won't give them a shot because of fear. On the other hand, you're giving all your good good to John John, and he got <clears throat> five baby mamas, and you know about all of them. You're going through his phone every night, seeing a different chick, but you being loyal to him by your homeboy, Tyrone, who is your friendship zone guy. Why he ain't got nobody. And you crying on his shoulder, calling him at three o'clock in the morning. Because your playboy over there didn't beat your ass. But you still want to be with him. But that's how it go. Now, digging on to this here personal life of mine, 
hopefully this person gets a chance to hear me out here. But there, there's a person that I've been knowing for a long time. Wouldn't mind getting back with one day. And I think that through some messages that we shared, that she showed the same kind of fear. Said that she didn't want to get it attached. And, you know, me and her got some stuff to sort out. I need to finish what I'm doing here first. But, yeah, we were kind of going through similar things. You know, her guy was playing over her. My soon-to-be ex-wife, as soon as this income tax comes in, so I can get this paperwork signed, end up messing over me. And me and this other person, we've known each other a very, very, very long time. But anyway, said that she didn't want to get too attached to me. And then something about me worried about what uh, the ex-wife thinks. Like, fuck her, man. I'm not even worried about her no more because, you know, what the ex-wife thinks. There was no loyalty there to begin with. And what do I need to hide anything for? Anyways. You know, there's there's nothing to hide. And when it comes to that fear, you know, to you gotta step back and take things slowly. Because I'm not looking for a date, I'm looking for a wife. That's what I'm out looking for. I'm looking for a good time. I'm looking for a wife. And I think, you know, that's what all real men are looking for. You know, I'm not looking to be out in the streets. I'm looking for somebody I can come home to every night. I'm not looking to lay up in some other woman's bed. I'm not here to play any games with anybody. I'm looking for somebody to spend the rest of my life with. <clears throat> and would love for that person to be it. Especially somebody that I've been knowing for that long. And yeah, when you let when you let that fear hit you, and I've been you know, when you let that fear hit you, man, I've been knowing this person for so long. Imagine if they did me like my last partner. Just a Thought of that makes your heart jump in fear. I mean, it really does. It scares the shit out of me. But, you know, sometimes you just have to get over that and keep moving. But I do respect the fact that they you know, want to focus on their children and all of that, too. And I think respect, you know, that's the ultimate sign of... I think that's the ultimate sign of seriousness and love you know because I've always had love for that person you know I always would do stuff for them if I could and still will you know from this day forward no matter whatever happens you know, I'm always going to wish that person with him but we, we both have our fears about jumping off into something <clears throat> but that's just my personal life. I, I was here to talk about the friendship zone and all of that stuff there. But yeah, to that person, you know, it goes without saying that, you know, I guess I might be in that friendship zone guy or whatever. And I don't want to sound like the gang person, but no, never would hurt you, never would do anything to hurt you, never would cheat, would always come home until you wouldn't have a problem with that at all. Trust me, that would be something I'd look forward to. You know, that's, I hate using young people words, but I'm being 100 with you. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice hadn't warmed up this morning. Because, I mean, I'm here, big empty apartment, nobody here. And, you know, verbally I'm not speaking. But, yeah, I, I would never do anything to 
hurt that person ever. But that's just me. So, moving forward, don't let fear stop you from loving somebody, people. I mentioned it in another video before. Stop worrying about what other people think about your relationship. Go forward with it. If that's what you want to do, if you with the person that you love, don't worry about what everybody else thinks. That's what you, that's, you're, you're the one that's coming home to that person. Don't let everybody into your relationship. Everybody don't need to know everything. That's why I use Fujiwara as a name. You notice I don't, I did accidentally name drop last video. My bad, but still. <clears throat> That's why I use, you know, Fujiwara as my name. Or, or you know, my other names that I use. Everybody doesn't need to know every single detail about you, especially, you know, what's going on in your house. You got people out there that are hating on you that, you know, are going to try to steal what you got away and will do anything to do it. You got people out there who will ask you your opinion on something so they can turn around and use that against you. Just a, a quick example. Like I said, I use a fictional name so I can kind of get a little more personal than some people who don't. But uh, my aunt is dating my god brother. So, and I know the way she works. I know the way her mind works a little bit. Like I said, a little bit. I don't, you know. Because I know she, how she holds grudges and stuff. I want to know about what you think about me and him dating. No, you really don't know. And you really don't give a damn about what we think about y'all dating. Because you're going to do it regardless. So what does our opinion matter anyway? I mean, really, shit, the, the fit that you threw about some old bullshit... From you know, your childhood, be <laughs> you you really expect us to believe that you want our honest opinion about you know what y'all are doing behind closed doors? You really don't. And whatever our opinion, you really don't give a shit. So don't even ask us. But yeah, man, stop worrying about what other people think about your relationships. Do your relationship. Do good in the relationship. Treat your partner right. And hopefully your relationships will last. Anyways, I'm about to go in here, cook me some breakfast. Wash these dishes. Because I've been working all week. And uh, check my bank account. And hopefully this income tax hit. Because I got to get me a car and I need to move out this apartment. And then the sooner the better. Anyways, you guys have a great Valentine's weekend. Don't be out there thotting around women. You uh, dudes out there, don't be out there playing around with these women's hearts. Some of you dudes out there with the so-called game. Oh, I sound like Uncle from Jackie Chan. I ain't got much time left. 14 minutes, 16, 11 is on the clock. Let's define game real quick because some of you dumb bitches don't seem to know what game is. Game is something to be played. Game is a way to get inside of your head. Game is a way to manipulate you. Stop falling for game. Listen to what's inside your heart. Know a man's heart. Stop falling for game. People like me have no game. Don't know how to manipulate you into thinking a certain way. These people with game, nine times out of ten, are just trying to get up in your drawers. But if you're a thought and that's what you like, then go for it. But mostly what you're going to want to find is you're a guy with no game. 
Yeah, that fat motherfucker that you got holding your purse while you calling Big Dick Tyrone in the mall, that fat motherfucker do anything for you. That's who you need to be having your eyes on instead of these punk ass niggas out here that's just trying to get your pussy and hitting it and quitting it with the five baby mamas and no motherfucking job. Peace out. Have a good Valentine's weekend.